Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading. I'm doing these a little early because we do have the Easter weekend coming up so I figured it might be good to do these a little bit early and see what we have. So what do we have for Aquarius? Well, you're certainly being guided and inspired. We have connection to source here, God, the divine, the universe, illuminated even. Very nice energy. Message for Aquarius, please. Message for Aquarius, please. What do we have for Aquarius for the week? Recovery. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Aquarius. Message for Aquarius, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. Fifth to the 11th of April, 2021. What is the message that Aquarius needs to hear the most? Thank you. We have judgment. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, let's clarify, go deep into the message. Can we clarify the cards, please, for Aquarius? Interesting, I've got judgment as soon as I cut the cards. What is the message for Aquarius, please? Message for Aquarius, two cards. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Star, which is a card of Aquarius. Ace of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. And the ten of what? Ten, sorry, the ace of wands is clarified with the ten of swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of cups. Okay, Aquarius. There's definitely an energy here of. Two aces, which can be new beginnings, new chapters, new phases. I mean, call it what you will. But there's definitely the new coming your way. I'm just going to pull. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I see, I see. Okay, Aquarius, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Star. There's an energy here of preservation, being careful. It feels to being careful with money. And you know that the star in, in this position, in the challenge position, can be, the star is a card of hope, faith, renewal. Um, but it feels, it feels in this situation you've had to be careful with money. Watching the pennies. And almost kind of like losing hope that anything is going to happen. Well, there's definitely an energy of something's going to happen because there's some kind of event that's going to, it feels some kind of event or something is going to happen that will require you to act very quickly. Um, there's definitely this energy of a call to action, a wake up call, a time to step into your light, a time to take action. It can be an energy of making some kind of judgment call decision. It might well be something's going to happen here. 
I mean, you know, that could be news, that could be a message, that could be an event that happens, um, a connection being made. I mean, call it what you will. Something's going to happen this week where you've been careful with money and it feels conservative with money and almost kind of like feeling, okay, I'm, I'm giving up. You know, it's just, I'm not seeing the, the change. I'm not seeing, I, I'm losing hope. I'm losing faith in my own ability to, to bring material gain into my life. Well, there's all of a sudden something is going to happen. I mean, you're doubting. It feels like you're doubting yourself and you're also doubting something's going to change. There's an element of self-doubt here, uh, but also doubting anything's going to change. And it's interesting because you're being told, well, there is recovery and you are being watched over. And this star energy is not just an energy of finding hope and faith again, um, in your own abilities, but it's also hope and faith that you were being watched over and have been being watched over by God, the universe, the divine. So there's definitely an energy of, of I mean, this, the star is a card of blessing. There, there's an element here of, of doubting that's going to happen here. Because for some of you, the victory is coming. The breakthrough is coming. And this is what I'm saying. You've been working so hard and you've been losing faith. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, you might be, in one sense, I mean, you might be learning a, a new trade or adding qualifications or skills to your bow, you know, in order to be more attractive, more lucrative in the job market to get more money. So that could be something that you've been doing. But the Eight of Pentacles is, is, in essence, somebody who works hard and brings material gain into their life. And there's an energy of getting noticed here or getting the recognition you deserve. That could be in terms of pay, but also in terms of being recognized for what you do, your skills, experience, knowledge. Uh, but it has been hard work. I mean, Spirit is recognizing the hard work and therefore the hand of God, the universe, is giving you the recognition, the victory. Yes, you have climbed those mountains. You have overcome all those challenges. You've worked so hard and this is your victory. This is your award, a breakthrough. So there is, I mean, it definitely feels in this situation something's going to happen this week for some of you. There is some kind of breakthrough. Because the Ten of Swords is the ending of a situation, um, a painful situation, dark night of the soul energy it can be, you know, where you just couldn't see the light. Um, and then this is, the clouds are parting, you can see the blue sky, all of a sudden there's a break in the clouds. And it definitely feels in this energy that it's materialising in the form of some kind of opportunity that's very much close to your heart and soul, something that excites you. It is definitely linked to, to money and career. So, you know, you know the, the period of, of pain, something that has been painful, you know, the Ten of Swords can be a card of betrayal, hurt, loss, um, being stabbed in the back. I mean, you know, it can be all those energies. But in a sense, that's as, this is as far as it goes with the Ten of Swords. It's, it's served, it's, 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 it's played, it's... it's, it's it's, it's had its day, if you know what I mean. And there is a completion here and the new beginning opening up for you. So there is definitely this new day, new dawn rising in the distance. Some kind of breaking of the clouds again. It's interesting. We're getting that imagery quite a lot. And the Ace of Wands is the beginnings of success. The beginnings of something that is, I mean, it can be in terms of business career opportunities, the new phase, the new opportunity coming your way. And oh my goodness, it's exciting. It promises growth. It promises to grow into a castle long term should you take action towards it. So it is something that very much leads to success. Um, requires you to take action to open this new door, Aquarius. So there's definitely an energy of don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Because it feels something's going to happen this week that we're required to act. And this is an energy of action. So don't let whatever this Ten of Swords was stop you from taking action, from going for something now. This can be, you know, this can be new business ventures, um, an exciting opportunity um, being presented to you. Very, very good in terms of money, career, finances. It feels like you were, you were betrayed, let down. But there, 
whatever this situation was, the Ten of Swords deeply hurt in a situation. But there's an energy here, Aquarius, of somebody is recognising your skill set. Somebody is recognising your capability. Somebody is recognising your talent. You're getting noticed. This King of Cups, male or female energy, is part of your recovery. It's part of, it feels like a person, I mean, they can offer you something as well, the cup that brings you joy. They're offering you something that is going to bring you material gain. And it feels like they're involved in the breakthrough here. This is the card of Scorpio. You might even be meeting a Scorpio here. But it feels in this situation, Aquarius, that there is definitely this energy of... It feels to do with some kind of material gain, recognition, getting paid for what you do, more money. Success is if you've added skills and experience and qualifications to your CV. There's definitely an energy that is paying off this week. There's definitely some energy of a breakthrough. And it feels very, very beautiful. So I'm going to pull a final card. It's, it feels to do with some specific recovery. And what it's going to do is it going to, you're going to realise that you've been watched over all along, you know. I think that's the clarity as well here. Okay, final message for Aquarius. <laughs> it's interesting because the star is divine wish fulfillment and we have wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true, yeah. And we have, yeah, <laughs> believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairies of the Northern Light say you are part of nature and so you are magical too. It definitely feels in this energy something's going to happen this week. And someone it feels like someone's recognising your talent, Aquarius, and they're offering you this new door, this new opportunity. Whatever it resonates with you for, um, Something that, you know, it feels like your skills, experience, knowledge and hard work are about to pay off. So lovely, lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.